are you doing? What are you doing? Oh. Hey. 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 Sorry. That's the personnel file. Oh. Oh. Sorry. What, what do you I'm, got? What do you I'm got? I'm trying out this new tool. Oh, come over here. I'll show you. What do, we, what do we got this? What, well, what, what this, is this? Well, you know what a hooligan tool is, right? Yeah. That's, the fire guys have that. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they swear by it. Hooligan, they call it. We, we call this the hooligan, but this is the okay. tie hooligan. Pocket hooligan. Pocket hooligan. Well, it's tie hooligan. This is the titanium. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, we had the, our, our shop did this. So they made a miniature one, and guys are using it for moving the bigger Sheena's vice around because they. Sometimes the vices are heavy and stuff, so they're they sometimes and, they're heavy. Are well, they they're, light? They're pretty. They're pretty heavy. This okay. is pretty. Anyway, I like it. It's cool. I said, hey, make more, and because uh, it's handy, and uh, who doesn't like a, a hooligan tool? Well, it, it looks awesome. It, it, right? looks, it looks awesome. It's strong. It's okay. titanium. But here, you know, it's 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 not as big as you yeah. know. I want to make sure people don't think that it's going to be thirty six inches. Well, here I put it in my hand. So it okay. is overall length. It's eight inches long. Okay. It's Good for tiny, small jobs, right? Uh, well, yeah. It right. Makes Sometimes sense. you need a little extra leverage. Uh, you need to move that uh, that fence it, board. It doesn't have to be three feet long for it to uh, still. Do, you know. hey, if you want to break into a, I'm sorry. If you want to get into a drawer or something that's stuck or a file cabinet, do you need a four foot long? That would be kind of strange to walk through an office with but, that. But uh, strong as hell. Um, okay. Let's talk about this. Eight inches long. Okay. Uh, the width here across the uh, the pike. And the this is called this is called the pike, and this is called the duck bill. This okay. is about two inches wide, so, so the widest point is two inches. Okay. And uh, and the other end, how about that? That's this is called the uh, this is called the nail puller side. Okay. Uh, the re, uh, machine. This is machine to you know, hey, pull nails. And I see or, it's got a curve to it. It does have a curve to it. So if you're trying to wedge, you know, wedge something, you can do that. And that's seven eighths of an inch. Hey, the fire guys and the rescue guys, SWAT guys, all know what this is. Absolutely. Right? Long Except guys. they're used to it being, you know, yeah. really long, well, heavy, I, I, I expensive. I thought it'd be kind of just, you know, I want to cool it. Well, of course, uh, Fabrioli made one for me. Yeah. So I, I, you know, because he said, hey, it's titanium. Give it to me. So oh. I gave it to him. Yeah. yeah. He. <laughs> He tiger as soon as he says, finds of course, out, of course. But anyway, as soon as he I, finds out anything titanium <laughs> is being made, he all of a sudden appears. Right, the torch magically. comes out and is engraver and all that stuff. But anyway, this is a this is a pretty cool. All these edges can be sharpened, right? You know, if you need it if sharper or modified. On a on a on a hallig a normal halligan tool, uh, this is pike is a little bit uh, curved, but you know there wasn't a reason to do that because I don't see anybody entering breaking into locks with this. This is just a you know I think this is for. Office entry. I can see if you were uh, a cabinet guy oh. and you're aligning uh, cabinets or putting in doors uh, and you need a little, just hey, a little I just bit. want to shim to get the door up a little bit. Do you need a big bar? No, this this is going to probably be suffice. This diameter is 0.3 right here, so just under like a three eighths of an inch. The total weight of this thing is uh, just under three ounces. So wow. strong, small, but you know, I, I think it's uh, going to serve a purpose. If not, you're gonna look like a uh, desk commando. I can tell you right now, or they're gonna think you're in the fire service or whatever. But um, these are all pinned and staked, so they're very strong. Okay. Now, if one of these comes back to us and is bent in a knot, well, I did that. Because <laughs> I was my bare hands. You know, I don't think you're gonna. You could flex this just a very little. I can get it to flex, but you know. But you know, that's it, the cool thing about titanium is it, it will flex, flex a little it'll bit. It'll flex a little bit and it'll come right back. So uh, I could see a mechanic using this for, you know, we're under a car or something. Hey, yeah. you got a ball joint or something you need to get in there. And, you know, and the cool thing about these tools are when you get into a groove or something like that, uh, wedged, uh, when you when you rotate, that's where you get a lot of leverage. Oh, and uh, that's uh, for opening doors and mm. cabinets and stuff like that, or uh, you get a ton of leverage we're, out here. We're doing stuff you should be doing. Can you imagine doing? if this was three feet long? Oh, yeah, yes. you can lift the world with this stuff. Well, so, I, Atlas was doing that. <laughs> so there it is, that is the, so let's talk about this duckbill. Uh, this is an inch long here across, uh, oh, sorry, the duckbill here on this side is okay. an inch an inch long in length here, so. So you you can jam that into a crack or crevice as I caught you doing. I was, and, but you uh, busted me. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, that's not the yeah. personal file. Oh, well, <laughs> it was. That was payroll. <laughs> I have the keys in my like... pocket if you want them. But it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's, it's I you know I, I could see some uses for this, and I you know I, I have a friend of mine that does cabinets and stuff, and he saw it. And he goes, "Hey, I could use that for lighting up the doors and stuff like that." You know, I'm using. He's using a flat. A pry bar right now, and I, and I go. You got a lot of other options with a, a tool like this. 
And he said, I never, I've seen these before. But, you know, my fire guys, he's like, I never thought of making a small one. Well, okay, we that's, did. That's that's what we that's our job. We did. So there it is. That is the Thai Cool Again Forced Entry Tool. All right. Thanks for watching.